Hi Sagittarius, I hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-January to the end of January 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Sagittarius. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. Also do remember that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. And let's see what's going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of January. All right, for the situation, we have the Knight of Swords crossed by the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so somebody is really wanting to take some action based on truth, possibly even communication, um, wanting to reveal something, but that might require some kind of a shift um, for them. And I feel like they're just kind of, it feels like they're either resisting this change because it might be something that they're not used to doing, or there's just various events happening around them in their life that is kind of keeping them from doing that, um, which could be excuses. It could be excuses, but I feel like things are happening in a way where it's like, even though there's this urge, to take some kind of action. It's like things keep happening where it's like, okay, I can do this later, or okay, I can't do it now because look, this happened or that happened. Kind of like that, like little like, just mishaps maybe. And this could be your, it could be them. For the recent past, we have the magician. Okay, interesting, because it feels like something was manifested here. Some Somebody did take control and did find a way to make something happen, but it's like now they're resisting some kind of a, some kind of a shift. We'll see. For your energy, we have Judgment and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so it could be that you've had like some kind of a, it might feel like a wake up call or some kind of a lesson that just felt really, really difficult or just something really difficult to accept or come to terms with. Uh, maybe you've found some kind of a truth or something was revealed to you. So it could even be that there was some kind of, um, something communicated here that revealed some kind of a truth which may have kind of put things on a different trajectory or maybe that's how it feels. Whatever the case though, it's put you in this energy of not feeling really good about it. Let's see for them. The Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Well, this is a lot that this person is trying to juggle with here. Um, I feel like they're having a really hard time balancing themselves. They're trying to, they're trying to, yeah, okay. So more and more it feels like something, something has come out in the open. Something has come out in the open which has shifted things and that's kind of like what the challenge is, is to really um, deal now with that change and whatever that change is, it's creating a little bit of instability here. Not knowing, um, for them at least, not knowing what to do about it. How, you know, should they, should they make a move? Should they, you know, like give you something when it comes to not material things, although it could be, um, but energetically, like what, what can they do to kind of fix it or bring it into some kind of a balance to regain that? Um, let's see the near future we have the two of cups and the message for you here is the seven of swords well the emotions are still here um, definitely coming up and I do feel like whatever this is that you're going through now it almost feels like it's kind of resolving um, like you're both going to feel like you know just more connected coming up but we'll see what that Seven of Swords is um, when we clarify for the message. Because it feels like somebody's not being very trustful. I feel like that's you. Let's see. And I just had the Seven of Swords fall out again. Something 
everything isn't as it appears to be. Let's see, let's see that Knight of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords again, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, okay, so it actually feels like both of the scenarios that I described in the beginning, I feel like they both could actually stand um, for everyone that this resonates with. And for some of you, it's going to be a, either one or the other. Okay, so... Because it does feel like something has been said or something has been communicated, whether it's been directly or indirectly, and this has caused a lot of pain. And I actually feel like that pain is for the both of you. Because I see you being stressed about it. And I see the other person trying to figure out also what to do about it. Not really knowing how to manage or how to fix it. Um, whatever this is, yeah, it, it feels like it has made you... Um, it feels like it's a breakup. Or some, some sort of a breakup from whatever this connection was. It's like you're each now kind of like alone or each independent because of that. Let's see the magician for the recent past. Alright, the six of wands and the chariot. here whatever it is I feel like there was something that happened very suddenly very quickly in the past um, somebody took some action which I feel like there may have been some ego involved like really trying to um, I don't know if it was to take advantage of a situation or if there was some manipulation I don't see it necessarily being very like like in a bad way um, but I do feel like there was ego involved, like somebody wanting to win something here. But it also feels like whatever, whatever this behavior was or whatever it was, it was a little bit impulsive. Almost like somebody um, losing control over what they, what they had, con what they had power over. So it, it does feel like a little bit of. Yeah, you know, like, um, I have power over this, so I can control certain things. So, yeah, so they took some kind of actions that were impulsive and just really took advantage of that in some way. And yeah, all of this has created a big shift um, in things here. Let's see judgment for you. Look at that, the Nine of Swords again, together with the star. It's, oh, okay. It, it could even be that what happened may have even made you realize like how much you want this or it just stresses you out feeling that, that you still would want this. Possibly even trying to figure out your own emotions concerning hope for this not wanting to have hope but it's still it's still being there oh, let me see the nine of swords there's definitely and i feel like this has been um a theme for fire signs big lessons Big lessons um, coming through. 
just had the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands um, fall out. I'm not sure those were the ones that were meant to clarify the Nine of Swords. So give me a sec. The Two of Cups and Justice. I swear, I feel like Justice has been coming out in all the fire signs as well. All right, so just to call out a couple of the um, signs that I'm seeing here, we have Libra, we have Aquarius, we have Cancer, Aries, but yeah, of course could be any sign. We do also have Earth um, showing up for this person here, but of course, again, could be any sign. Um, you're not happy with a particular decision here that has been made about love. I feel like you... Um, you feel like there has been some injustice when it comes to this connection. You still have feelings for this person. But you're feeling a lot of stress here. Something just feels like it, it wasn't fair. Either from your, your side to them or from them to you. But I'm mostly seeing it being from them to you because they're the ones who are trying to make something right here. And again, it definitely feels like there has been a shift in in the way that communication takes place or because of some communication that has happened. And whatever that shift is, again, it, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel positive. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this two of pentacles. lovers, so Gemini energy, and the two of wands. Yeah, okay, so this person definitely wants to make things right here, okay? They're they're feeling the, the strength of this connection, they're wanting this, um, but it's like they're procrastinating, and it's because they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed here with whatever it is that has happened, whatever it is that has shifted, whatever it is that has been communicated between the two of you, whatever this truth that has been revealed is. I feel like they're thinking about it a lot, trying to formulate some kind of a plan, but still feeling overwhelmed about how to make how to make things right, how to bring things back into balance. Let's see for the Six of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, definitely feeling apologetic here. And the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they want this. They they want to be able to make this right. Um, Again, it, they're in a very apologetic state. I'm not sure just how well they're managing that because I do see them procrastinating a little bit or holding back a little bit. So let's see what's coming up. Let's see that Two of Cups. We have the Fool. Taking a leap of faith, taking a risk here, taking some kind of action towards this. So yeah, I do see them coming in, um, taking that risk even if it feels like they don't know what the result is going to be, um, they don't know what your reaction is going to be, they don't know what it might lead to, this is definitely taking some kind of, some kind of a, a leap here towards you. And that's because they, again, they just want to make things right. It's just very simple. So let's see the Seven of Swords. And we have Temperance and the Four of Swords. Okay, so two cards about healing patience so basically what I feel like this is this is something that is going to take time for you um, I feel like you are going to be in this state of just wanting to heal and wanting to take your time before you can trust this again if you do if you even decide to to trust this because I, I kind of feel like this is you like walking away, being a little bit cautious. And wanting to just focus on your on your own self here. All right, because with um, temperance showing up here that it does represent Sagittarius as well. So yeah, the message for you here is to really take your time. 
you know, to not rush into anything. Yes, this person might be rushing um, to come back and apologize and try to make things right. I'm getting that the message for you is to really focus on you and to make sure that you are feeling okay inside. That is what is most important here. So, Sagittarius. If this resonated, let's see the final message for you. Okay, and we have the full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. So yeah, I do feel like this is saying that whatever this situation is, because I feel like things were just kind of like <laughs> thrown up in the air here, like huge shift, um, huge change that was not very pleasant. There's going to be a conclusion, okay? The conclusions are within reach. So that is coming up for you. All right, Sagittarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.